What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to your daily dose of doom. Now let's take a look at day 8's task. You must defeat three street thugs. Street thugs can be found in many missions including season 1 chapter 2 mission 4. These tooltips haven't failed us yet so let's go over to season 1 chapter 2. Alright now just to let you know the name of this mission is called Mean People. So let's jump right into this mission and hope that we get a starting wave of three or more street thugs. I'm going to choose to run it on challenge mode but there really isn't that much of a difference. Alright so let's skip through this dialogue and we'll see what we get to start with. It looks like we only have two options a low threat and jack o' lantern. Luckily for us the low threat does have three street thugs exactly. So it looks like that's going to be our battle. Now I'm going to do something different this time around and I'm going to show you my setup. Everything from my agent's armor to the characters I choose and the ISO weight that I equip them with. First up is my agent and he's equipped with the bruiser's Aegis armor. You can kind of see what I went for. I went with health, attack, defense and accuracy. And this armor does have a passive ability that's called Kai Shout. So single target attacks have a 50% chance to apply Intimidated, lowering enemies attack, accuracy and evasion. Now as far as the ISO weight that I used, first I used 4 times Reactive Steady. So that's Health, Attack and Accuracy. Next I equipped Stalwart times 2. So that's Health, Attack and Defense. And lastly, I used Reactive Forceful, Attack, Defense and Accuracy. And that's times 2 as well. So I would say that's kind of a PvP and PvE hybrid. Now for my weapons we're using the Kazuri. It has a counter attack, a chance to protect, red and tooth so restores health when attacking bleeding targets or when attacked by bleeding targets and it also causes bleeding. And I know it desperately needs reforged and so does the cat's claw down there but we'll get to that in just a moment. I love these weapons I just don't have the gold to reforge right now unfortunately. Next we're using the binding contract and the reason we're using this is because you can place bleeding times three on one enemy. In the third slot we're using the custom sword of the barony. It has a healing strike so restores health to the team after hitting a bleeding target and causes bleeding. And then lastly we're using the cat's claw. It has a chance to perform a follow up, a chance to counter attack with a hemorrhaging attack and causes shred or bleeding and this needs reforged really badly as well. Now onto my team and you may have guessed it we are building a bleed team. So you know I had to include Victor Creed aka Sabretooth. He's an absolute monster especially when it comes to bleed and getting that blood rage. So looking at his stats I did focus on attack, defense and accuracy. Especially attack. Also currently he is a level 11 so he's missing one ISO and then also an E ISO slot. But for now we gave him three times forceful ISO 8, attack, defense and accuracy, two times violent, that's attack and accuracy, and then two times strong, that's pure attack. So in that last slot we're probably going to put another strong ISO 8. I wanted to try him out with pretty high attack in PvP and that's also why we didn't focus on health at all. And for his aggressive empowered ISO 8, it provides offensive fighter, so melee attacks increase attack, and that's for scrappers only. Now Victor's teammate is going to be Electra. And really, you could team him up with just about anyone who causes bleed. But I really do like him with someone who can put bleed on everyone with an AoE attack. Now for her ISO weight, I chose Steady ISO times 2, and that has health attack and accuracy. Then I chose three times mercurial, attack, accuracy and evasion. And lastly I went with powerful times two. So that's health and attack. Now boosting health is kind of debatable especially in PvP. But her health is pretty low so I just went ahead and gave her some at least for this build. And then we're using the blurred and powered ISO 8. So she starts combat with mirror image. And I know I'm also behind on my leveling with her as well. But my hero bonuses really aren't that great. 
and that's kind of rough in PvP, especially at level 300. So that's one thing I definitely wish I would have done differently. And in fact, I think I'm going to make a video where I talk about things I would do differently, and maybe that'll help some of you out that are still leveling. It would be kind of like if I could do everything all over again, this is how I would do it. So let me know if that's something that would interest you, and I'll definitely work on that video. Alright, so in this battle, it looks like Victor Creed's going to get to go first. So what we're going to do is we're going to use his level 6 Berserker. And it's a quick action now, and gives him a chance to join in on any ally's attack, or to attack when an ally gets attacked. At least by a single target attack. Then we're going to use his level 9 Tantrum. It hits all enemies, and I think the animation is really cool for this one. Plus it applies exposed and also can stun. Now next what I would do is use Binding Contract on whoever has the highest health. Sadly this is going to kill him. But in a harder battle it would place 3 stacks of bleeding and then Sabretooth would gain quite a bit of blood rage from it. Then I would use Electra's Reign of Blood to place bleeding on everyone. But we'll just go ahead and assassinate the middle scrapper and now we only have one target left to finish. So yeah, it looks like the setup's going to be a lot longer than the actual fight. But I guess that just can't be helped. On these earlier missions, the enemies die extremely fast. Still, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you liked the setup portion. If you did, I can do this in future battles as well. And there we have it. The covert task is complete. Daily Dose of Doom number 8. So now I'm up to 68 lockboxes, and I don't know how many I'll need, but... You want to get as many as possible, so make sure you log in every day and check out the daily video. That's going to be it for this one. I want to thank you all for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, good luck and take care.